My name is Oningri Parker, and I'm currently a, a member of the Old Harbor Assembly Adventist Church, where I currently serve um, in the capacity as an elder, and uh, by extension, I have been asked to assist with the brethren in the Simon Assembly Adventist Church, and I currently serve them as their first son. Originally, I'm from the Old Harbor Assembly Adventist Church. That's where I was born, grew up, and also led that church. Well, being selected as a second speaker um, for this series, the power of the cross and the blood, means a whole lot to me. I am indeed happy, elated, I am delighted to be chosen by God to, to share with the residents here in Red Rome about the good news of salvation, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I am honored to be the second speaker who has that august responsibility to preach the word of God. But there are many verses in the Bible that I, I really like, but for, for today, I'm going to select St. John 3 verse 16. It's a very popular text that is known by even the kindergartens that reminds us that God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And this text means a whole lot to me because the word whosoever for me is an all-inclusive word. It includes everybody. It includes even, as a songwriter say, a wretch like me. So that text has become my favorite because I realize that within that text is the, the plan of salvation is realized, that he wants to save all of us into his kingdom. Well, the word of God declares, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness and then shall the hymn come. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to implore all our friends, all our family members, to come on out and support this gospel series where you will experience the power of the cross and the power of the blood. Back then, the cross was a symbol of shame. But today, for us, the cross is a symbol of victory. And today, Jesus wants to save all of us. So I implore everyone, whether you're from Banista, whether you're from Bully Tree, whether you're from Red Ground, or even Bartons, you can come down and be a part of this great evangelistic thrust that we're experiencing here, or will be experiencing here at Red Ground. God bless you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there.